How's it going everybody? I'm Mecca here and um, I'm excited to do my first income and goal report for uh, for 2018. I know it's a little late coming out on February 16th, but uh, already this year has just been, it's been a whirlwind for so many different reasons. Um, but uh, I want to bring to you my January 2018 income and goal report and I'm switching up things a little bit and um, this is going to kind of keep evolving and changing over the next little bit. Um, if there's going to be a blog post for this particular report, it'll be linked in the in the description down below. But um, you know, hang with me. This will be a little shorter than uh, some of the previous ones um, for various reasons. But like I said, you're going to kind of see these develop over the next uh, over the next few months. One of the things that I wanted to do with um, with the income reports is instead of just go, kind of going through the numbers and, and um, um, you know, talking about how much the business generated, I want to talk about more of the, the why the business kind of generated versus over last year. And um, I guess let's just kind of just dive into it and go through that because that'll kind of make more sense. So on my computer here, I'm looking at my income reports from last year and this year. Uh, you can just check them out. They're playlists on the videos if you want to kind of compare um, the ones for January of 2017 and the ones for January of 2018. But uh, take a look at this. So January of 2017, um, the total revenue was $2,709. Okay, that was from publishing alone. Publishing alone, this past January, the income actually dropped. It dropped to 2662. So we lost what 40 bucks. Okay. 40 bucks, but what's exciting is my overall income increased up to $8,300. And if you've been following me on Facebook, I've been, I was kind of preaching this through January and uh, a lot closer to the end of January that if you didn't make more this past month, this past January 2018, than you did in January of 2017, there's a serious, serious problem and you need to reevaluate what you're doing. Right, and um, you know, looking at this, I went from twenty seven hundred dollars up to eighty three hundred dollars um, when you compare month to month. How did I get that increase? Well, I added on, you know, one, two, three, three different main sources. Well, I guess they're not all main, but three different sources of income compared to. Um, Compared to the 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 one I'm just talking publishing as a whole, the one source of income that I had prior, adding additional sources of uh, of income, additional revenue streams, whatever you want to call it, is by far the fastest way to increase your income. Right? It's not asking for a raise. It's not, you know, God forbid, buying lottery tickets or anything like that. It's it it's adding additional sources of income. How can you do this? Well, you get another job. You start something online. You you know start buying and selling stuff on eBay, uh, whatever the case is. Um, but adding additional sources of, of income is the fastest way that you can grow your business um, or grow your revenue stream. So, um, where did the income kind of break down for this past January? Um, Twenty six hundred, like I said, it was from um, was from publishing. So that counts. Um, so Amazon. Uh, I don't know if the book's actually made anything on draft to digital in January, but uh, Ingram Spark, Smashwords, I don't think I've been paid out yet. Google Play, don't think I've been paid out on those yet. Um, so mainly it was Amazon and uh, and uh, Ingram Spark were the were, were the two major things, and I included in there what. Uh, what was sold when people bought my books from my Shopify store, um, the profits that uh, that I made from there, that was also included in that publishing income as well. Um, then the next big source of income was uh, just over five five thousand dollars, five thousand eighty eight dollars, and that goes from my you know more of my personal brand through you know my uh, pu self publishing uh, my self publishing blueprint course, um, coaching programs. And uh, those type of things. That was uh, the income generated from that. Then I got down here affiliate sales. Um, it was just over three hundred bucks, three forty six, and uh, that's an area that I'm really looking at uh, driving up and increasing uh, over the next few months. 
um, just because I know there's so much money on the table for, from that, uh, especially as my audience grows. Um, you know, there's just, I, I could put more of a focus on, you know, promoting certain products that uh, I know uh, I have worked that, uh, you know, like ClickFunnels, for example, that uh, I love, swear by, I think everybody should be using it, whether or not you're a publisher. If you're a publisher, you should definitely be using ClickFunnels. Um, but, uh, and then I have other online income that is from, I believe that's from like YouTube and, and uh, things like that. And it's just like 200 bucks, 206. So total revenue for January, $8,300. My goal for January was $12,000 US and I did 83. So fell a little short, um, mainly because I didn't hit some of the specific, you know, I was, you know, 50% off, just under that, like 45% off of my publishing goal and uh, didn't quite hit my uh, course sales goal that I wanted to hit for January. But, uh, you know, all in all, whatever, that's what the next you know, what the next month is for to, to go focus on that. Expenses, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I decided to keep expenses on here for the month of January. Not even sure. Do you, do you, do you like seeing what the breakdown of expenses were? Um, give me the highlights. Publishing alone, this includes running ads and actual publishing were... Oh, some, 828. So 500 bucks in, uh, I believe that was just uh, for one book. I think one book I published. 45 for one book, 20 bucks, probably a cover. And uh, and then 322 um, was what I got for, uh, for my ads. And then, um, you know, coaching. Uh, you know, I got my uh, coaching costs in there, 500 bucks. Um, you know, that's for, you know, what I pay and then, uh, you know, other advertising on here, software costs $552. That was a little steep. There's some softwares that I'm using that I'm thinking of not really sure if, if it's worth it. So that's, uh, definitely something I need to be paying attention to for February, March to see if, if removing them makes an actual difference in, uh, conversions. So we'll play around with that. Check it out. Um, miscellaneous VA, VA costs for the month, January 365. So I brought another assistant onto my team uh, to help with kind of social media. Um, and uh, she also does some, um, what else does she do? So she helps with my bookkeeping and some other things on the business as well. She's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, so that's why my VA costs were a little higher this month. And, um, but those will creep back down um, for the month of February, but, uh, you know, good people, they don't cost you money. They make you money. And, um, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so total expenses were, uh, $2,700. So 5,500 bucks profit. So expenses weren't, uh, you know, I like keeping my expenses at a three grand basically. So they were under three grand. I ain't really going to complain. Um, you know, you can't focus on keeping your expenses low. What you can focus on is driving up your revenue, right? Driving your revenue has to be the majority of your focus. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Let me go into some of the other goals. Um, so for the month, for the year, I'm looking at generating $500,000, in passive income. Um, I'll have this blog post up on the blog in, in a little bit. So you'll be able to kind of see where the breakdown for that is. Majority of it, of course, is going to come from different products and courses that I'm bringing out and then uh, coaching and then uh, publishing is going to be a large part about it as well. I'm looking at bringing in uh, just over $70,000 just from my, my Kindle publishing um, business alone. Um, as far as business goals, um, looking at uh, having a thousand people go through the uh, through the blueprint in uh, 2018, um, as well as I'm looking at creating a higher ticket um, uh, product program that will be released. I want to say the end of the summer, but uh, don't hold your breath on that. And um, looking at continuing to build up my uh, my publishing brand and uh, kind of get a bit more focus on that and get it up to $7,000 a month. 
uh, mark. That's the main goal between now and the end of April is to get the uh, publishing up to seven grand a month, but without me really having to spend more than one or two hours a week on it. Um, you know, publishing is just, you know, I said it's just not my passion. Um, yeah, I like the income that it generates, but I am not, you know, somebody who's super, super passionate about self-publishing. I think it's a great way to, to, to make money, but I don't want to be, you know, diving in and, and um, you know, that's just not my not my thing. That's why I have an assistant that runs my publishing business. I talk to him. He handles it all, communicates with, you know, with the writers, gets the covers design and everything like that. So, you know, when you think back to, you know, the, the, uh, what was it? 2,600 bucks that I made on publishing. I maybe worked three, four hours a month, the entire month of uh, January on the publishing business and then brought in the $2,600, right? So it, it is a nice, it's a nice passive income and I just want that a little higher. Um, another business goal that I have for this year, get incorporated and uh, and hire somebody to take care of all CEO for, or S, SEO for my blog, my channel and all of that. Um, so. I'm going to cut it right there. Like I said, I'm going to be switching up the style a little bit, but it's February 16th. I was like, I have to get an income and goal report done just on the channel. So here it is. And um, February will be a bit more detailed. Um, yeah, once uh, things have settled down and I have a little bit more time to get on this. So, hey, let me know. What are your income and uh, what are your goals, your your income and goals for, for 2018? How is February going for you so far? Let me know in the comments. Love to all, I love just hearing your stories because uh, they inspire me reading, reading what you're going after and, and uh, seeing how you're changing your life. So as always, everybody, I'm a Mecca. If you're brand new and this is your first video, please smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. Till next time, everyone, take care.